Well, here at Brock House Funeral Home in Creighton, Nebraska, we're honored to have in our presence the exact two-scale replica of the Abraham Lincoln 1865 coffin. Now, this replica was created approximately 15 years ago by the Batesville Casket Company in honor of the 16th president. There are only five of these two-scale replicas made one of which stays permanently at the Lincoln Memorial Library in Springfield, Illinois. The other four travel the United States, appearing at funeral homes and Civil War reenactments. In order to uh, get the Lincoln coffin replica, there's a waiting list of approximately three years. Now, with the interest in Lincoln, the sudden renewed interest in our president, and the recent Lincoln movie, it would be probably nothing short of a miracle to be able to get the Abraham Lincoln coffin within five years. And normally it doesn't make uh, appearances in smaller communities uh, like uh, Creighton. We also have had it on display at our funeral home in Norfolk and will be on display next week, uh, next Monday at uh, the Brock House Funeral Home in Spencer and next Thursday at Brock House Harlan Funeral Home in Tilden. Uh, to give you a little bit of background about the Lincoln coffin, this replica is made to scale, which means literally dimensions and material identical to the one that the president is lying in rest in. The coffin, as we call it here, because it's a six-sided structure, unlike today's caskets, which are a four-sided rectangular structure, was built almost overnight of the finest walnut, embroidered and upholstered with canvas-like broadcloth, the black cloth on the outside, and at the time, the pure silk and satin for lining the crepe. Sterling silver studs and hardware, and the structure was lined with lead, as at that time that was the only type of material that was malleable or workable. Today, uh, we think of things that uh, seal are like lead, or not lead, but uh, rather the rubber or plastic type structures. In those days, lead was a workable material. So the walls of the Lincoln coffin were lined with lead, and then at the time that Lincoln was interred in the temporary mausoleum in Springfield, Illinois, he was sealed with lead. The carapace, the top part of the coffin, was closed with lead. Now, only one picture survived as far as viewing Lincoln's coffin, because Congress mandated that no one was to photograph or document the structure. So therefore, one picture does survive, taken by a photographer from Albany, New York, who snuck in to the visitation in Washington, D.C., set up his camera equipment, which is uh, uh, quite difficult to do without somebody noticing. And today's cameras fit in your pocket, and in those days, a camera was a large tripod structure, but managed to snap several glass slide negatives of the casket before he was uh, taken into custody by Secret Service and the slides were all broken. However, he managed to set one glass slide aside, hidden somewhere within that uh, visitation room, and that one slide was taken back to Albany, New York, and for the next hundred years was missing. It wasn't until 1965 that uh, a family was going through a loved one's possessions after they had passed away and found this one glass slide between that and uh, some historical documents and some prints that people have painted or drawn, that was how we were able to determine, uh, the Batesville Casket Company that is, able to determine uh, what the casket structure was like. So uh, it's a, a miracle that it even is able to be duplicated, one picture, and yet it was viewed by millions. At the time that Lincoln died, it was the largest funeral in the history of the United States, in the scale of people attending, it had less people attend for a visitation and funeral than for John F. Kennedy, but the size that the country was in 1865 per capita, it truly was the largest funeral in history in the United States for our fallen president in 1865. But uh, today, we have this on display here at the Brock House Funeral Home until 4 p.m. We'll again have the uh, coffin replica in state tomorrow from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. And we'll also have a special presentation uh, tomorrow at 1 o'clock here at the funeral home 
which will be given by uh, Matt Fisher and uh, Larry Godel. Larry Godel, a native of the area west of Creighton, a uh, longtime instructor and professor of history at Norfolk Community College, which is now Northeast. So uh, make it a point to stop on in and take a look.